Hello everyone and welcome back to DMG. I've got another broken hard drive here. This one uh, actually isn't mine. This belongs to the IT department pulled out of an old laptop. Can't even do data recovery on it because it's just broken. This is a really new drive. It's a 2018 WD Blue. So considering it's only like, what, you know, less than five years old, I'm interested to see how these are built because I've only taken apart the much older, you know, 2012-ish WD Blue. Also, this is a pretty big drive. It is one terabyte. Now, I'm seeing we have most of our stickers, or sorry, most of our screws under those reflective stickers. Which, that is a change from the older drives, which most of them were just along the edge. Like, you know, a normal hard drive. I'm actually going to, like, peel up the stickers before... Yeah, so it looks like they do use the same bit. But the stickers are very good at their job. And it looks like there's another one under both a reflective sticker and the paper label right here. Once it starts to click, that should be out enough. I'm gonna try and just start prying from here. We've got this, like, weird hump. Don't know what that's all about. So yeah, it looks like I do have the correct way in. But it feels like not all of our screws are out. That one maybe doesn't feel very, uh, very out. And usually there's one on the head itself, is there? Ah, here it is, yes. So there is another one and it's right here. Probably the same screw size. Yeah, there we go. That was it. Alright, this has a lot more holes than I'm used to seeing on the laptop platters. But, I mean, other than that, it looks pretty normal. You've got um, two sides of the platter being used by the head. It uh, doesn't use landing zones. Parks the head off of the drive, which, you know, all laptop drives should do that. That is a safety feature that they should have. Let's see, what else? The corners are very rounded off. That doesn't affect the functionality of the drive. It's just an interesting thing to note. I've never seen that in a hard drive enclosure. Also, it looks like these pieces of metal were made separately and then fused together. Although that could... Well, no. No, that must be what it is. So the upper section of this was put on later from the, uh, the marks in the metal that we're seeing here. Also, it has all of these little red things on it. You've got one there, one there, and then one right by the platter. I am not, not quite sure what that could be. Maybe something to do with, like, ventilation or something. No, yeah, we do have screws on our magnets. Might as well take them off. That's an interesting shape. It's got, like, a sickle-shaped magnet enclosure that it screws to buy. You know, it's well built. Of course, the magnet is small since it's a laptop drive. You've got an actually shaped coil, so that's good. You don't just have a, a round piece. That is, uh, that is fantastic. Unlike that Toshiba drive we recently disassembled. Can I get the head? Don't take that out of context. So we've got an additional park mechanism behind the head. That is interesting. Um, I don't think I've ever seen that on a laptop drive. I think there were two or three desktop drives that I took a look at that had that. 
So I'll have to get rid of that first. There we go. So yes, that just locks the head in place. Be nice if more laptop drives implemented that. That would probably prevent failures. Although obviously it did not in this case. Probably died to being dropped. That's really the most frequent laptop drive death. Oh. Okay. I expected the head to come out, not the magnet, but okay, there we there we go. We've got both our magnets. Those will make a nice addition to my wall of magnets that I already have. Let's see if I can throw them up there. Didn't make either. Okay, um, honestly there's not too much else I can do with this drive. How did it already get reattached? How is it reattaching itself so efficiently? Oh, like, this bottom part is magnetized, so it, um, like, sticks on there. That's cool. Yeah, honestly, this is designed pretty similarly to the other laptop drives I've seen. But, um, you know, that parking mechanism behind the head, I haven't seen. Looks like that part of the head, the left section, is shaped slightly differently from the right to allow that to work as well. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Might take a look at some more drives in the future that I... Whoops. Some more drives in the future that I broke. But, uh, again, that's it for this video. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and see you next time.